please nobody go to sleep. This is going to be a little bit of a while. Okay. All right. So um, the first item is the uh, Morningside Park Maintenance District. It is recommended that the mayor and council members conduct a public hearing, which we're doing currently, and consider assessment levies for the Morningside Park Maintenance Assessment District to receive public input and adopt the attached resolution approving the engineer's report and ordering assessment levies, which are going to be unchanged. There's no recommended changes this, this year. Uh, the Morningside Park Maintenance Assessment District was created in 1974 at the request of local business owners in conjunction with the Morningside Park section of the Chamber of Commerce to benefit property owners by improving and providing maintenance for the commercial business area. The Morningside District is located in the city of Inglewood and there's a map that's attached to the staff report. And uh, funding is provided for the maintenance of parkways, parking lots, medians, decorative lighting, landscaping and other incidental uh, improvement activity. Services are currently provided four days per week. The annual assessment for the Morningside Park Maintenance Assessment District, which only affects parcels in that district, has remained constant at $86,245 since fiscal year 92-93. The actual maintenance costs incurred by the city during this fiscal year, 14-15, were approximately uh, $151,538 resulting in a general fund subsidy of about 65000 That concludes my report for this one. All right, uh, Madam Clerk, just for the, for the record, I just want to uh, ensure that the notice of this hearing was given in the time, form, and manner as required by law, and that you do have the affidavit on file, as you said before, and, and you did not receive any communications. All right, um, public comment. Is there any members of the, are there any members of the public that want to make comment on either of these and uh, you will not be limited by three minutes. I just uh, heard that uh, the uh, first district had been given uh, more than $152,000 when the businesses are only paying some $86,000 uh, there. You know, I really have concerns about that and uh, all those uh, areas where uh, the streets are blocked off that are coming uh, from the uh, south to the north where they have these uh, areas where you can't uh, turn because of um, some years ago they put these trees and stuff there you know uh, you know those things are still broken you know the trees are not taken care of and, and, and even uh, with regard to uh, the problems that we have in those areas uh, that uh, are constantly impacted by uh, people hanging out, you know, and uh, causing problems. And uh, we're not uh, really, really getting uh, any uh, services that uh, would reflect, uh, you know, in my opinion, uh, anything that uh, anywhere near $152,000 or even $86,000 that uh, these uh, businesses are supposed to be paying. Uh, I. Uh, object again strongly to these things uh, like it said it started back in 1974 with this uh, street lighting assessment and etc and it to me it's just uh, more and more uh, taxes on uh, the businesses and the residents in those areas and I don't see that we're getting anything uh, for it so uh, I uh, wish you know other people would uh, uh, come forward and uh, speak to uh, the goodness that we're getting, uh, or if, like, I. <laughs> or if, like I said to you before, maybe you them uh, have some comments individually yourselves. And uh, again, you know, I, I would respect uh, your uh, hearing uh, what the public says. Uh, you uh, constantly uh, tend to be speaking to one another rather than listening to the public, me, the public, and uh, I really object to that too. Thank you, Mr. Fisher. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Mayor, Ms. City Lyons. Council, staff. Haven't been here for a while. I want to speak on um, a public hearing for a PH1 for Public Works. 
uh, for Morningside Park maintenance, we don't have the same quality businesses that we had back in the 70s. And uh, with a little small um, mom and pop uh, dollar stores, uh, 99 cent stores and all those, um, I know they're not pulling in enough money. Those who do um, um, report their taxes, they're not pulling in enough money. And uh, the, the uh, brunt of this is going to the citizens, the residents. And especially in District 1, uh, it's slowly changing from an elderly residence to uh, see that it's being um, populated with younger people, um, some temporary. And um, I think the city council should concentrate on bringing viable businesses back into District 1, Morningside District as well as all over Inglewood, to even this stuff out. Because what I'm afraid of is when this new Hollywood community is going to be built. I don't know how that's going to impact the older um, uh, areas of the city. And I know they're going to have viable businesses there from what I see of the schematic and plans. But um, consider old Inglewood, if you don't mind, and uh, bring back some viable businesses that can help with these assessments. Close public comment. Are there any council comments? Um, I move adoption of PH1, PH2, PH3, and PH4. Madam Clerk. Council members, Dotson? Aye. Aye. Franklin? Aye. Mayor Butts? Aye. Uh, consent calendar items two and three. So moved. Madam Clerk? Council members, Dotson? Aye. 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 Mayor Butts? Aye. DR1 has been pulled. DR2? Staff report recommending adoption of a resolution amending the fiscal year 2014-15 budget authorizing the Human Resources Department to reallocate its current staffing budget in an effort to increase staff support staff while providing a salary savings of approximately $118,155 to the department for the fiscal year. Move adoption. Second. Madam Clerk. Council members. Dotson. Aye. 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 Franklin? Aye. Mayor Bunch. Aye. DR3. Staff report recommending approval of an employment agreement with Artie Fields, city manager. Approval. Second. Madam Clerk. Council members Dotson? Aye. Padilla? Aye. Morales? Aye. Franklin? Mayor Butts? Aye. <laughs> DR4. Staff report pertaining to the, the draft fiscal year 2015 16 annual action plan. Stephen File. A1. Thank you, Mayor. There's no oral reports from the City Attorney's Office. CM1. Yes, good afternoon, Mayor and City Council. I just wanted to thank the City Council for the opportunity to be, to be your City Manager and the, and the opportunity you, you've given me over the last four years to be your City Manager. Um, I can tell you that for the last four years, it's been one of the most rewarding uh, professional years of my uh, career in local government over the last 20 years. When I was first hired by the mayor and we first interviewed, he said that, already if you come to the city, you'll get a chance to be a part of something big, um, bringing the city back to its glory days. And I can say the mayor is a man of his word. At the time, I could not have imagined that, the, that we would have accomplished as much as we've accomplished to date. Um, but the mayor's vision and the council's support, um, the world is now looking at the city of Inglewood, and I'm glad to be a part of that. I also want to thank my executive team uh, for all their support, um, because without their efforts behind the scenes, I could not, nor could the city accomplish as much as we've accomplished over the last uh, four years. And lastly, I just want to thank the community for embracing me and um, providing me with your support. Um, it's because of your passion and commitment to the city that um, the city has also been able to grow to where we are this far, thus far. So um, again, thank you, Mayor and City Council, and um, you can um, count on me to um, be the support to you and allow you to continue um, accomplishing all that you've um, set out for us to accomplish. 
like Obama, you got two terms, so. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's dog it's years so here, right? Uh, CC1, Madam just, City Clerk. Thank you, Mayor. I just want to say congratulations. As the little kids say, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> CT1, Madam City Treasurer. Thank you, Mayor. And my congratulations also to our city, city manager, Artie Fields, and I'll be in your office to dance on your SC sign later on today. <laughs> <laughs> And I just want to uh, give a reminder regarding the um, African American eye study that's c conducted at uh, right across the street at 110 South La Brea and it's Avenue 450. I participated in that eye study. And again, it is the most comprehensive eye study I have ever uh, participated in. And also, I'd like to. Uh, <coughs> Just give a special thanks, thank you to Seville Properties, Angela Whiteway, and also Jorge Gonzalez. You know, I was out of town, but when I came back uh, late on the 4th, there was um, like little flags all throughout our community. I don't know how far they went through the city, but I mean, I thought that was so nice, you know. And uh, just a special thank you, uh, you know, to Seville Properties, Angela and Jorge. And also, I'd like to make a comment regarding a comment that a, one of our residents made regarding uh, we need to get back to the glory days of the 70s. I'd just like to mention that, you know, the, the development that we have on Century Boulevard, we have never had in this city before at all, the kinds of stores that are there now. And most of them are in their uh, number one of their franch franchisee. So, you know, so the city, entire city is benefiting from that. And most cities are moving for that kind of uh, uh, development. And we'd like to point out also that this council is moving towards the development. You know, on market, they've already had an, a response to the RFP. I mean, I mean, they're, they're just batting a thousand. I don't know what more uh, we can really ask of this council. Our city's doing great. I have come out of that, you know, you know come out of the gym sometime at, uh, near midnight, and that in and out Burger will have cars in there at midnight ordering burgers. I do believe they are outgrossing the one in Westchester. So our city is, I think, is doing great with the business that we have here. We have businesses here that we have never had before. And I think the progress that we're making now is just tremendous. And, I, and this council is to be congratulated, and our staff is to be congratulated for, you know, for the wonderful work they have put forth. We have, for the first time ever, a hard-working council. When I come to work, I see all of those cars there. It's not, it's not like before. On Tuesday, you only see like maybe one or two. But these guys are out there working. They're having these community uh, town hall meetings informing the constituents what's going on and, and the progress that's made. Alex have a, what's happening in, in Inglewood all the time. I read it all the time. The mayor has what's happening in Inglewood. If you just you know refer to some of that, you'll see what's going on. Our city is batting a thousand. We have a stadium that's just right around the corner. I think ground is maybe broken in, in December, perhaps even earlier. And all this talk that is Gardena is, you know, that's just talk, you know. I mean, my goodness, what are they going to do with that landfill, what they're talking about building a stadium on? We have an owner that says he is going to build here. We have an owner who owns a team. And usually when, that, and when, usually when you don't have something like that happening, no team is coming. You know, we're, we're doing great. I am so proud of this city to see what, how it has progressed over the years that it has, has happened during the time that I have lived here, and I have lived here about 34 years. I'm very proud of Inglewood. I'm happy to live in the wonderful city of Inglewood, as my cousin always says. That concludes my remarks. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, me and Dai Aisha. We yes. got it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll explain it to everybody later. Any persons wishing to address the uh, matters <laughs> connected to the city's business? <clears throat> you know, as you considered uh, answering my question, which you did not, none of you. Uh, and uh, went forward, you know, 
to extend these taxes on businesses and people. Uh, you know, it just shows me what you, them truly, truly are about. Uh, I wanted to, uh, I guess, Mr. Campbell, I could have uh, uh, talked to you in private, but uh, this has gone on for more than two months. I had asked uh, for a copy of uh, the meeting that uh, Councilman Dotson had. I uh, received a letter from you uh, saying that uh, uh, you hadn't got it because uh, it hadn't been edited yet. It seems to me that uh, just like these meetings that we have here, uh, there's no reason for editing because uh, as it's presented and as the meeting goes forward and is stated, that's as it should be. Uh, there should not be any editing, and uh, since I haven't uh, received it, I guess I will have to uh, do what I have to to try to get it. Thank you. <coughs> Mayor, <coughs> Council, and staff, I am Stuart Bailey, and I am going to play devil's advocate one time. I am going to say that the Inglewood today had did, did not just once, twice, a retraction to, uh, I'm not a fan of this man, but I will say that he got maybe a little justice, Mr. Joseph Texer. And uh, like I said, I'm not a fan, but he got his due. And um, <laughs> I'd just like to say to the Inglewood today, thank you. It was a very brave and very honest thing to do. And I would just like to say as well, when it comes to news, we have to take the emotion out of news and be more neutral and report what is being said. Stick to the facts, just like the police. Stick to the facts, ma'am. And that's the way everybody will communicate and understand what is going on. And one more thing I would like to say I really feel sorry and bad for Bill Cosby. Those are my comments, and have a great day and a beautiful week. Mayor, council members, and staff, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. My name is James Ross. I'm here on behalf of a company called Y Green Energy Fund. Um, what Ygreen does is we provide property assessed clean energy financing. We work with homeowners and commercial property owners. What we do is we finance a wide range of energy or more importantly with these drought issues in Southern California is water conserving improvements. So uh, we're talking about gray water systems, recyclable systems, all of these things that can make a tremendous impact on our drought issues and help each individual city, especially Inglewood, meet its particular measures. We're like other programs. You may have adopted other resolutions for other programs, uh, such as LA Pace, but there's some major differences with Y Green. And the reason I'm standing here today is just to briefly introduce those so that we can come together and hopefully bring this into the city. One of the major differences with Y Green, unlike the other programs, is there is no bulk assessment placed on the properties filed. So any other Pace provider, there's going to be that lien filed right there. It's going to be very difficult for property owners to refinance in the future. So it's a major difference right there. Two, our finan Oh, I'm sorry about that. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> okay. To clarify, I think the retraction was a lawsuit issue as opposed to goodness of anyone's heart. And I don't think that we should feel sorry for a man who abused women. I'm also going to suggest that perhaps we ought to look at the genuine history of this community. Now that we have so many nice-looking discount stores, at one time we had the high-end stores. That would have not only been the Sears and the J.C. Penney's, but the Henchies, the DuPars, the nation's second institution to receive FDIC approval. Today's collection of stores are not nearly the stellar of what once was, with seven major theaters seated over... 1,000 each that were always occupied. But revisionist history under this administration is unfortunate that we celebrate in the mural about our history a sign, a donut shop, and a hamburger stand compared to that which really created the center of the civil defense industry. 
is a fascinating concept. And what about those officers involved in the Patty Hearst shootout? Shouldn't they have been honored as well? They're Englewood. How do you do, Mayor, City Council, and staff? Um, I'm going to touch on what was a topic of uh, contention uh, and concern last week, and it was written about in the um, Inglewood Today regarding rewards for uh, witnesses to come forward. Um, some concerned citizens and I, after the council meeting, sat down and um, we chopped it up and says, you know, talking about it is one thing, but what could I come to the table with an offer for folks to say, hey, what, what can this city do? What can we do as a community to lift rewards? And I was saying perhaps a trust of some kind be established to where somebody will talk. And, you know, I respectfully ask for 30 seconds if you give it to me just to make the point. Thank you. Um, you hate, you hate to see, use this as an example, but what happened over in Chicago over the weekend, seven-year-old boy, his life hasn't even begun yet. And his father knows who did it, but he's not going to talk because he's part of the reason why it was a, sh a shooting at all. And so he's going to go out, and he's going to get his crew, and he's going to shoot up Chicago and kill more innocent people, possibly. What if somebody was there to ponder a $1 million reward for turning in the shooter? Maybe that's we got to find a way to get to that. Maybe we could go to the Chamber of Commerce. Maybe we can go to a certain person who's about to build a stadium and say, hey, establish this trust for us. We have an excellent treasurer, and he could give us guidance on how to do it so that no one could ever mess with it or misappropriate it. And I, I, would, I would love to hear if there's any input. And if I could help, I would volunteer my time. Thank you very much for the extra time. I thank everybody for letting me do it. Good afternoon, uh, Mayor, City Council, and staff, and residents. I just want to remind everybody that this is Saturday, July 11th. We're actually beginning the opening of the exhibit, of the Lincoln exhibit. It'll be here from July 11th to August 24th. And I'm just saying this because we're one of the only few cities that have a library. So uh, you know, I'd like all of you to come out. There's going to be several things, exhibit, it's knowledge. I'm really taking on, and so is the commission, taking on the issue with STEM, scientific, technology, engineering, and math. And that's what we're going forward with, with this library, with this city. I, I really, really want you to really come out and really participate in that, OK? So it'll be several. It'll be there till then. And I want to say something else. This is the last stop that they're making of this exhibit in California and the only stop in LA County. So we're really kind of privileged to have this done. So I'd appreciate all of you guys, you know, to come on out. All right, thank you. Aldine Sly from First District. One more thing. It would be nice if um, the city government would advise the citizens of all the wonderful things that you're doing um, like all the improvements that you're making, but it wouldn't be very nice if you would ask for our input as well. You know, um, a few months back, maybe a year or so back, uh, we were wanting to have a farmer's market where we could go and purchase fresh vegetables and fruit, things that are healthy. These little small mom and pop stores that are in existence in Inglewood today, are extremely dangerous for our health. They, um, um, there's reports that they're putting um, certain things in the milk that the mothers buy for their children that is dangerous. The, uh, the little um, fruit, fruit cups that they buy, there's something dangerous in those. We need quality stores and we need fresh vegetables and fruit 
get our input. We're the ones who have to go out and spend our money. We hate to go outside of our city. We'd love to shop within our city. I would, but I'm afraid. I'm afraid of um, the products don't have to be marked anymore. The meats don't have to be marked. We don't know where they're coming from, and we don't know what's in them. So why don't you ask us to give input? And as you can see, everybody's asleep in Inglewood. Otherwise, this place would be filled. I've listened to Santa Monica's city council meetings. The people are engaged. The city council is listening to what they have to say. Such a far cry from what happens here. That's why, you know, when I come here, I don't like repeating myself. I don't like being laughed at. I don't like being told that my suggestions are you know, irrelevant, because they are very relevant. You need to get the city's input, and there's a lot of people in our community who would love to give their input, and I'm one of them. Thank you. I'm looking forward to working with you. I want to thank the 95th Street Block Club, President Brenda Houston, for uh, having me out on the 4th of July. It was a wonderful affair. Um, everybody had a lot of fun. And I um, also want to thank Richard Galindo and the 68th Street Block Club for having me out. And the young lady that took the selfie, if you are listening to this program or you hear this program, I want a copy of that selfie. So um, I don't want you to be the only one that has a copy of it. It was a good picture. I'd like to have a copy of that. Uh, speaking of information and input, um, I have a newsletter. If you did not receive the newsletter, I do not have your email address. Give me your email address. In that paper, we ask for your input. So, that newsletter, please input whatever it is you want to talk about. Send it back to us, and we'll make sure that it gets it. And uh, as far as downtown, we have taken. working on them with us. <coughs> so when we speak of new business, we do mean new businesses. Wonderfully well, whatever they are, they are doing well. They, they're, they're tax producing businesses. It may not be all the businesses that we're looking for. They are coming. Those businesses that you want to see, please. Get behind this council, let us do our, our thing that we do, and I think you'll all be satisfied. Thank you. Out. Thanks, Mayor. Just a couple of quick notes. Number one, thank you, uh, Artie, for your continued service, and I'm, I'm glad you're uh, staying on board. I certainly appreciate the time that you and I spend together to talk about things that are on the agenda or anything in Nate uh, that anything in, that evolves the, uh, around the city and what we're doing. So thank you for uh, your insight. Um, you know, just to kind of piggyback about quality businesses in Inglewood, uh, you know, we're always looking for quality anchor businesses to come into Inglewood, and that's why the decisions that we make up here on the dais uh, when we talk about expanding and development, uh, 
Uh, we're thinking about those bigger businesses that want to come to Inglewood uh, that in the years past uh, went somewhere else. Our goal is to get them here. But to piggyback what, uh, what you said up here, uh, Ms. Lai, uh, about shopping in Inglewood, uh, I think it's important for us to re remind our residents to shop locally, uh, to keep your money here in Inglewood as much as you can. There's a lot of quality stores that are here uh, and even mom and pop stores that we need to support because they're struggling as well. Uh, so let's not forget about them because during the hard times, uh, they were there for us. And so we need to uh, help support them as much as possible as well. Uh, the Lincoln exhibit, I look forward to seeing everyone out there uh, this coming Saturday at 11 o'clock at the library. Uh, it's a spectacular exhibit. Uh, we are very fortunate here in Inglewood to have that exhibit. So it's not something to be taken lightly. And I strongly encourage everybody to come out, enjoy the, uh, the exhibit. There's other exhibits that are going to be occurring, other parts of the exhibit on following weeks uh, through, I think, August. August 12th, August 21st, I'm sorry. So uh, it's important to come out uh, to our library and, uh, and see all the good things that we're doing here uh, in the city of Inglewood. Uh, you know, this past weekend, uh, Saturday, as we know, was the 4th of July, and I want to thank a lot of the block clubs in District 2 for inviting me over. I know the mayor and I uh, were at a couple of them, uh, specifically uh, the ones uh, on West 64th Street, on West Ellis Street, and on Hillsdale. Uh, had a great uh, event. Uh, Fairview had one also uh, there as well. And uh, it's just good to see the community coming together uh, to celebrate and uh, to uh, work together to keep our communi community beautiful. Uh, that being said, enjoy the rest of your week, and we'll see you Saturday at 11 at the library. Yes, uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, you know, I'm, I'm hearing a number of residents that regularly come and talk about the past, and they're, they are not included, but excluded. And the question is, what are you doing about it? Because District 4 has had town hall meetings on a regular basis to engage the public. And in fact, one of the things we have done regularly is had retail surveys, because we wanted to find out where you shopped. So therefore, if those retail stores don't exist in the city of Inglewood, we in turn make a fervent effort to, when we engage the shopping center owners to try to get those retailers back into coming to Inglewood. And I must tell you, there's several retailers, and as I've been dealing with uh, the shopping centers in my council my district, that have expressed interest of stores you haven't, that currently don't exist in Inglewood that are planning to come here. But if you want to get involved, just look at the announcements that we make, uh, particularly, for example, uh, the District 4 Town Hall meeting, as well as the council members here have all announced that the city of Inglewood is a host city for the Special Olympics. We want you as a volunteer. Have you called to sign up? Have you asked your council member, do you want to be part of our team to sign up? We're doing public transit. Where we're trying to bring in the the new light rail stations coming in here. We work diligently with with the mayor, who is at one of the board members at Metro, to make sure we get our fair share for public transit. But it all starts with us. And so when you keep pointing your finger at us, remember the four looking back at you. So we want to make sure that you're part of the success of the city, not part of the problem. In addition to that, I we talked about farmer's market. That is one that has been discussed, and it is one that is still in the harper to be worked on as we are continuing to work on the south side of City Hall regarding the drought-tolerant plants that's being, being uh, made available on that air location. We're going to take care of that. I also want to reach out before I, I get off my soapbox to say, City Manager, Mr. Artie Fields, congratulations. Um, just remember, what, be careful what you wish for because you know you'll see me regularly. And I do my due diligence on reading the packets. Uh, and more importantly, I just want to thank you and your staff, because you've been very responsive to me as a council member and this council on meeting the needs of the community. And I like the fact that 
no is not in your vocabulary. Where there's a will, there's a way, and we work on a, on a way of trying to make sure it happens. And particularly when you give us our weekly newsletters, uh, our weekly uh, news reports about uh, things going on or currently stabilized. The last thing I want to talk about was this past weekend was uh, very disheartening to have people not honor our community when we had safe and sane fireworks out there for 17, actually there were 22 firework stands in our city for safe and sane for our children. But instead, my little granddaughter and I were seemed like we were the only ones on the block with safe and sane fireworks because everyone else was using the illegal stuff. And I think that's something uh, years ago we went, we had this item. We reached out to the voters to say, is this is your will? Do you want us to continue to have firework available? And they vote, the majority voted saying that we want to make sure that safe and sane fireworks continue to remain. And now we're dealing with this infiltration of individuals that are doing illegal fireworks here. And I think we as a council need to revisit that along with the fire department and the chief. And on that note, uh, I, I want to conclude by saying there were 17 block parties. I didn't make any of them. I was smoking my barbecue. And my uh, baby and granddaughter and I, we enjoyed our fireworks. And on that note, everyone have a great day. That's a tough one to follow. Got to get geared up. Um, no, I, you know, going back to the fireworks, I mean, it, so much of it becomes being good, being a good neighbor, uh, just being so intrusive, uh, not only on the 4th of July, but the days that upcoming the 4th of the July. I mean, that noise is, you know, so many people, they, they want to cater to their, their uh, neighbors and allow them to do whatever they're going to do. But 10, 11, after that, it just becomes unreasonable. And those, those are the things that, that really get noticed. Um, how we, we go about it, we're not the only city that's dealing with it. Uh, it you know, sooner or later, um, you know, the process will work out itself. Um, going back to the library, great opportunity. Not only are we lucky to have uh, the library because of uh, these type of tours that the exhibits happen, uh, but I was just told that a grant was was won over by our library for uh, teen parents, and they'll be holding some workshops there. Amazing what the services that, that the library is providing to our city. For a city our size to have its own library, that's a big deal by itself. Um, Want to congratulate Artie. Uh, you know, four years. I can't believe it's been four years. And, uh, you know. Like four years. Right. Four, <laughs> <laughs> <seems> like, <laughs> four years. Hey, and part of it is being able to navigate those type of comments. You're doing a great <laughs> job, Art. <laughs> uh, congratulations with that. And lastly, Mayor, I'd like to close in honor of uh, Miss Murrieta Davis, uh, who was uh, one of our neighbors on our block, and uh, she's a 40-plus year resident of the city of Inglewood who passed last week, and uh, she'll be missed on our block. I'm gonna turn my mic on. I want to congratulate Mr. Fields um, for his 40 years of four years of service. Uh, and uh, and I I said because my mic was off that you know your seat turned over a lot after the Mr. Paul Eccles left, and so you know this stability is very welcome. Uh, heard a lot of talk about what Ingwood used to be, and uh, I'd like to note that Henchies is no longer in business, but. The reality is, is that no one has ever denied the fact that Ingwood fell upon some very hard times, very hard times. But to fail to understand the progress that's been made in renewing the infrastructure here, I mean, we're we we've probably surfaced more streets in the last two to three years than we have in the last 20 years. Um, we're trimming trees now, we're renewing our water infrastructure. We've drawn major entertainment anchors We've got the Hollywood Park Tomorrow project off the ground. And to say because, it's almost like you're saying, oh, I just hope that doesn't manifest itself because then what am I gonna complain about? I mean, the reality is is that there will be big department stores in the Hollywood Park Tomorrow development. That's just about guaranteed. But I, I don't understand 
lamenting over the things that have gone like seers when there's so much brightness in the future. I, I don't understand that. Um, I also believe that mom and pop stores do have a place in communities. Um, Ms. Sly, they don't prepare the milk, so if something is put in the milk, it's done at the pasteurization plant. Um, they don't uh, prepare the meat. The meat is USD approved and inspected, so I just don't want to demonize mom and pops. Those are basic good people like you and me, and they're, they're, they're trying to make it. Um, the reality is that there, there needs to be a mix of businesses in the city, and I believe the mid to upper level businesses are on the horizon. And uh, if we keep doing the things that we're doing, I, I believe that things will be, will be just fine. I am very, very proud of uh, what uh, the council's done. And, and Ms. Uh, Ms. Brown, our treasurer, has a great perspective on, you know, she sat in that seat longer than any of us up here. And, and I, I really do cherish her perspective. I also want to note that there were 17 Fourth of July block parties, and, uh, and I went to every one of them. And I would tell you that I talked to hundreds of people, and I would tell you that it was universal, universal, that people believe the city is going in the right direction, and they're very appreciative for you know where the city has come to. So when you talk about uh, people being asleep, they're not asleep, they're happy. And uh, that, that to me, you, you can look at, look at this two ways. And, and I do believe that if, if, it's a, if, you have, if you take a random sample, it's supposed to be representative of the larger population. And if, if you go to 17 different locations in the city within a span of six hours, and all the people are happy, you have to say that's probably a trend. And I, and I believe that the people know what's going on. I, I think in some ways uh, the council meeting is an artificial environment to a certain degree. Uh, people come here uh, because they have a viewpoint one way or the other. They're community minded. Uh, they're people that are interested in what's going on. And some people come because they have a viewpoint they want to espouse. All those are welcome and all of those are valid. But to say that the council meeting is a representative sample of what everyone in the community believes, I don't believe that to be true. And I just, I'll just be honest with you. I've, I've seen these council meetings for a long time, and the, the, the range of uh, a commentary is not reflective of the range of commentary that I see out in the street. Um, very proud of what we've done, very proud of where we've come to. Uh, I, I've worked in three different cities, and I've never been more proud to work for a city than I am for this one right now. And with that, uh, we're adjourned. Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. Who? Murrieta. Oh, I want to close the meeting in the honor of Murrieta Davis. And now we're adjourned. <laughs>